Hey guys, welcome back to more Godfall. Uh, I think we're just gonna go ahead and hop right into the, the mission here. You are strong, Orin, but not strong enough to defeat Macros and all of his men. You must train. I've found a man who can help. He is a godsmith of some renown who can help you craft and upgrade your gear. The Vargul are holding him captive on the other side of the Crimson Glades. Head to the Vargul stronghold, breach their defenses, and rescue this godsmith. All right. Defeat the Vargul. Um... Strangers are not well liked by the Vargul. You, least of all. They will attack you in sight. Alright, so this is this is actually only my second time playing in here. And I have been playing Assassin's Creed, so. I'm going to try to get in uh, as many fights as I can on the way here just to practice. This guy is getting to be annoying. There we go. All right, wait, do I destroy this one or? Oh wait, I did I didn't never smashed this this other one over here. Yeah, the mechanics on here makes some getting used to. Alright, 
taking a lot of damage. Oh jeez. I keep uh so I, I keep trying to hit X to dodge. I was doing the same thing on Assassin's Creed. I was hitting I was hitting A to dodge, but I'll get it. Nice. I assume this is part of my training. You are always training, Aaron. Oh. Wanna take a look at some of this stuff. Alright, so this kind of like charges things up for when you swap your weapons. Um, creates weak points. Takedowns. We're going to go with this weak point. So I guess it knocks them down. There's an Ethereum seal over the fortress gate. Tell me our options. I can shatter these magical barriers if we are able to gather enough power. Head to the base of the Prismatic Falls. There is a source of rich Ethereum there we can use. You see what I see. I am housed within your Valor Plate. I can affect the world through you. Freaking range guys are uh, a problem.
Oh. <laughs> nice. Okay. I didn't know I could throw it. That was kind of a surprise. I'm kind of taking this slow because I just I'm trying to get used to the combat again. This is the last one. There's a chest. Stronghold seal. You know, actually, we haven't checked. For all we know, we're working with not a great weapon. Here we go. If you ever want me to um, explain how I choose my weapons, uh, just go ahead and leave a comment down below and I have no problem doing that. The goldsmith is in the cabin behind the fortress. He'll be glad to see us. He has no health. None. He had no health. <laughs> Still alive.
I forgot I could do that. Really? <laughs> Gotta get rid of these guys. I'll heal them. These guys are so annoying, not gonna lie. Alright, here we go. Nice. He's back through there. This, this whole <laughs> this whole thing's set up weird. These do have... Oh, that one's got Soul Shatter build up. I prefer that one. I don't know it, it, if you'd remember, uh, there was a game called Soul Calibur. There's a guy who had a sword just like this. Thank the Archons. I thought I'd be stuck here. Wait, Oren? You're alive! Xenon, I didn't know it was you here. And I didn't know you were still alive. I'll take this as a sign. Perhaps we'll survive Macros's madness after all. Come, we have much to discuss. Are we going into a sanctum? Oh, Oren. Is that it? <laughs> Yeah, this game's a little awkward for being like a next gen title. It...
I don't know. It, I feel like it was just built more to show off the visuals than anything. Which a lot of next gen titles are built for. So this is the inside of a sanctum. Hmm, she's quite something. Though I did not expect her to be so independent. She's a living being, Oren. Not merely some weapon to be wielded. Well, in that case, I'll have to look to you for the weapons. Ha! <laughs> you never change. I'll provide you with basic arms. The rest we can forge. Here. This will help. A sacred flame! Go on. Light the forge with it. Oh, the beat. You'll that was be weird. To upgrade your equipment once we gather the right materials. All right, so you can level up five times, and enchanting makes a better rarity. Just go ahead and just kind of do something random. Uh. We'll do that. Okay, can't do it twice. All right, so now we've increased the uh, rarity of this pole arm. Now we're gonna upgrade it. Okay. Looks like it increases in material cost. I actually think, yeah, it's the same damage as this one. But we still don't have as many uh, perks. Now I can also salvage. It seems we uh, don't really get much. Oh, oh, okay. It goes by rarity. Why is my mouse? <laughs> I don't know. This game, like my mouse, just, like stays on the screen for some reason, even though I'm using a controller. So I, if you can tell, see, so this one you get um, get the uh, Electrum and the Sunsteel. This one you only get one Sunsteel. This one you get three, three, one. This one obviously you get none. So all of this extra stuff just became super useful. I guess I probably should make sure I don't have to upgrade anything. See, so um, this is spirit, right? And this is spirit. This, even though they're the same, 28, this brings up my might. This brings up my vitality. Surprised I don't have this. Oh, I did. Oh, that's weird. Why is it? Oh, it's the same. Okay, so you can't, you can't equip duplicates. That's that's what it's saying there. That makes sense. Go ahead and. Gonna get rid of the extras. I got augments. Can I? I don't really know. It doesn't tell me. I can't even move around on this. It doesn't tell me when I get an augment. We never checked. Hmm. Okay, does this... 
This doesn't make weapons. Can, can you give me weapons? I don't know. It's good you found Xenon. He'll be useful. He's also a friend of yours. We're at war. You and I only have time for those we find useful. Perhaps. Usefulness comes after care, Oren. What I care about is defeating Macros. If Xenon can help us do that, so much the better. From an Earth sigil we acquired at the Vargal Fortress, I've been able to locate Zamora the Farseeing. She's at her lair behind the Prismatic Falls. You need to acquire enough Earth sigils, including the one we already have, before we can enter her lair. You can earn them by completing hunt missions here in the Earth Realm. Okay. So. We got a new skill. I don't really see much reason other than the Oh, okay, maybe this Okay, there's so there's there's a perk other than the arcane Archon Fury so this one's got, or that is during. No, I think that's all the time. There is a difficulty on here. All right, here. I just I want to switch that cuz I, I thought it was kind of easy, honestly. Oh boy. I wasn't expecting that. So it looks like, so it says air damage may inflict shock, causing the enemy to take damage over time. I haven't seen any status effects other than when I use my Archon Fury. So I'm not really sure. I don't know what... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that's all about, honestly. Alright, so we got some... We got the main objective.
All right, we have bonus enemies breached. Let's try this out. Nice. Ooh, okay. see in a lot of situations I don't see much point in breaching it I'm pretty sure I breached both of them did I not It is not counting all my breaches. I'm about to die. Jeez. Thought weak points knocked enemies down. They just keep healing him. This is random. They do like this stun thing. It's kind of more annoying than anything. I'm not sure what we get for the bonus. I'm just literally going to run past these guys because I've got nine minutes. I already did the one bonus. So the only bonus I have left is a time bonus.
Alright, I have no healing items. Just kind of... I don't like I don't like that. I hate the lock on stuff. Like, he does so much damage. Dude, at this point, I'm... Wow. That's so stupid. I spent all that time dodging and all I had to do was just literally hack this guy to death. That's... I don't know. Not impressed by that. 